Hi there, today we are going to be making ChatGPT requests using Marketo webhooks. So I'll link to this blog post within the description of the video and then follow this link here to go to the relevant section. As I've showed in the Marketo webhook guide with examples, we can use webhooks within Marketo to make API requests. So that means we can use these webhooks to make API requests to the ChatGPT API. If you're not familiar with APIs, then you should check out the Demystify the API Crash Course to quickly get up to speed with what they are. And even better, if you're a Marketo user, I've got a Marketo specific API Crash Course that you can take a look at. So check out these two if you wanna learn more about APIs and APIs within Marketo. Today, we are going to focus on sending an API request to JetGPT using Marketo webhooks. So the first thing we are going to do is open up the ChatGPT API docs. So when we open these up, we can see all the necessary information we need to make our Marketo API request. We can see that it's going to be a post request to this endpoint. And then we need to specify the model we want to use, as well as the message where we specify the role and the content. And then we can see the expected response from ChatGPT. So this is the information we've taken from the API docs. Now we need to put all of this into a Marketo webhook. So within the admin section here, we can create a new webhook. And in this new webhook, we will specify the URL, which is this value here. It's a post request, as we can see from the docs. And then we are going to copy in this text here where we need to specify, we can just press this copy button and it will copy in all of this for us. And we paste it into Marketo here. We specify the model, we specify the role. I've just specified it user here. I'm not quite sure to be honest of what all the differences are between user and system, but I'm sure they explain it in the docs somewhere if you want to take a detailed look at that. And then we have the question we want for ChatGPT. So as I, as I mentioned in the blog post here, in contrast to when we use Zapier, so at the top of this blog post, I show you how we can make requests to ChatGPT within Zapier and then use the response to update the lead in Marketo. But here in action number three, we can have some Python code, which will parse out and extract information for us from the ChatGPT response. So we can use Python logic to do advanced things and parse out information we need from the ChatGPT response. However, in Marketo, we don't have the same parsing ability. So we have to be very strict with ChatGPT and give it very defined outputs that we want. So we can put these straight into a Marketo field because we can't do any formatting or extraction from ChatGPT's response. So you'll notice here that I tell ChatGPT specifically, determine whether this person could be a good customer for the Workflow Pro, returning an answer of either good fit or bad fit. So we give it a very defined output. And then once we get that output, we can store that in a Marketo field. And then you'll notice here that I use lead tokens within the payload so that we can give ChatGPT information about the person, such as their full name, their email address, and their website. And then ChatGPT will use this in its evaluation and return us the specified output of either good fit or bad fit, which we can store in the Marketo field. The next thing we need to do is specify the custom headers for the webhook. And to do that, we will need to get our API key from our ChatGPT account. So we can do that by following this link. And then once you log in to your ChatGPT account, you'll be able to create a new API key. So once I'm logged in here, you'll see that I've got different API keys for different things, and you can create a new key by pressing this button here. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy that key, and then in Marketo, you're going to create a custom header. So you go set custom header when you're creating it for the first time, but if you already have it created like I do here, we're going to go edit, we're going to copy, that key, that ChatGPT key in here and paste it in. 
And then we are going to set the content type parameter to application JSON. And if you want, you can copy that from the API docs. So you can copy the application JSON and content type from the API docs and put them in to the webhook. And then you can copy this as well if you want. And this start here where it's bare space and then all you need is the API key. So you can copy this here to help you uh, set the custom header. And then the final part of this is, as I mentioned, we want to take the response from ChatGPT and store it in a Marketo field. And we'll notice here that when we get the response from ChatGPT, it comes in JSON syntax. So you can Google what JSON syntax is and read a bit about it yourself if you want. So if you look up JSON syntax, you can read more about this, but I'll just tell you what you need to know for this. So we can see here that we've got a choices parameter and then we want this answer here from ChatGPT, which is stored within content. So we see we've got a choices key. It's a list and I can tell it's a list because of the square brackets here. And this list has only got one single value. So we go to the choices key. We know it's a list and it's got one single value. And the first index, which is index zero because counting starts at zero instead of one. So we want to access the first index within the choices array, which is this value here. And then we want to access the message key. So we go dot message. And then within the message key and the message dictionary, we want to access the content parameter. So we go dot content. So that's how we can access the content parameter here. And then we are going to map it to a Marketo field. So I'll show you what this looks like in Marketo. So down the bottom here, we're accessing the first value in the choices array. Then we, within this first value, we want to go to the message key. And then we want the content within this message key. And then we're going to map it to the lead quality Marketo field. Now that we've got our webhook set up, we can start using it in the flows of our smart campaigns. And I give some examples here in the blog of what it looks like when we see the webhook being sent in the activity log, as well as the change data value associated with calling the webhook. And then I also show you what the activity details look like for these. I'll show you live here in the video what that looks like. So we can see the webhook for ChatGPT being sent and also the associated change data value. So let's look at the webhook first. So we can see what we sent to ChatGPT. We can see the message. We asked it to determine whether the person is a good fitter or a bad fit. And then we can see that the lead tokens have been populated. So as a reminder, we specified the lead tokens in the payload here. And we can see that when we sent the ChatGPT request, they've all been populated correctly. And then we can see the response from ChatGPT. And as expected, we find the response from ChatGPT in the content parameter. And we can see that it marked this person as good fit. And then thanks to our webhook mapping here, it's going to take that content value and put it in the lead quality field. So that's why we get this change data value here, which changes the person's lead quality from mid-match to good fit based on the ChatGPT response. Okay, so that's all there is to it when it comes to creating a Marketo webhook to send an API request to ChatGPT and storing the response in a Marketo field. It's that easy. We did it in about five minutes. So what do you want to do after sending API requests to ChatGPT? Well, you can take a look at the Marketo lead scoring blog post if you're interested in other ways for scoring the leads in your Marketo instance according to their demographic and firmographic values or according to their behavior. So you can check out this blog post. And as I mentioned before, if you want to learn more about APIs, you can check out the Demystify the API crash course or the Marketo API crash course to learn more about those. And I'll have lots more examples of how to use ChatGPT within Marketo for different use cases. They'll all involve using webhooks to send the information somewhere, but I've got some ideas in mind uh, for different use cases, which might be of interest to different marketing operations people. So stay tuned and subscribe to 
my YouTube channel if you want to see some of these future use cases for ChatGPT and Marketo. And as always, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Thank you.